It's Thursday, February 20th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. It seems as though the novel coronavirus outbreak is entering a new phase here in South Korea. South Korea's 31st COVID-19 patient has become the first super spreader of the virus in the country. According to the Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on Wednesday, the woman who's in her 60s is believed to have infected at least 37 others, those who took part in the same church services as her in the city of Daegu, some 300 kilometers south of Seoul. This is the first case of mass infection in the nation in which more than 10 people are infected on a single day in the same area. Authorities, however, caution that further epidemiological investigation is required to determine the exact source of infection and how it spread. Dozens of additional cases have been confirmed in the Daegu and North Gyeongsang areas since the 31st patient was confirmed with the virus. Former South Korean President Lee myung bak is back behind bars after an appellate court on Wednesday delivered a heavier prison term of 17 years on bribery and embezzlement charges. This is actually two years longer than his previous sentence, delivered by a lower court in October 2018. He was also ordered to pay a fine of around $11 million and forfeit some $4.8 million. The ex-president has been taken back into custody after being released on bail over health concerns in March 2019. The 78-year-old E was charged with bribery and embezzlement in connection with an auto parts company, Das, which according to the lower court is de facto owned by him. K-pop superband BTS will be sharing a teaser video of their new title track, On, on video sharing app TikTok, 12 hours prior to the release of their upcoming album, Map of the Soul 7. So the 30-second clip will be uploaded on the platform at 6 a.m. February 21st, Korea time. This is the first time that BTS has previewed a new single before the entire album drops. But the event comes in line with a recent trend of artists actively using video sharing platforms to excite fans before the entire set is made available. Pre-orders for Map of the Soul 7 have topped the 4 million mark, the biggest pre-order volume ever for a South Korean album. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korean Now for your daily news feed.